What's going on, everybody? It's your boy AD doing my first video. You know what I'm saying? Here at the Man Cave unboxing um, and reviews. New channel I just started today. Been trying to get a feel for this, so bear with me. Like I said, what's up there, everybody? Um, Today, I'm just going to generally go over some stuff that I've bought for the OnePlus Pro so far. I've um, been having it for a week now. Bought a temper screen glass, a cheap little case, um, flexible case from Amazon. Then I have the Unicorn Beetle, Beetle Pro that I bought from Amazon by Subcase. Um, as far as in my impressions, quick impressions of the OnePlus, um, I love it. It's simple. I'll check out my Goku, um, screen, live screen saver. Uh, was reading up on another YouTube channel and seeing these are on the Play Store. Loving that so far. Um... So, yeah, like I say, it's quick, it's responsive. I mean, it's like the cleanest form of Android I've used so far because I've never used OnePlus. I always wanted to buy them, but said I am a average techie with the average budget. So, I never was really able to afford that price outright, even though now it's not as bad as it used to be. So... Maybe I will buy my next device outright, but this time I actually have the T-Mobile variant, which is how I've heard it has some things locked down uh, that are not in that are not locked down inside of the international or global version. But it's all good. Um, I'm pretty sure they'll find a way around it. If not, I don't really uh, unlock or hack my devices like that anymore. Uh, not really big on it because I only use my phone for a certain amount of things now. And most of that I could do that without actually rooting or hacking. So, it's all good. Whatever is locked out of it. Um, let's see. The screen is beautiful. Everybody who keeps putting up these reviews about the 90 hertz display not being as good as it is, no, you need to see it. You have other people in other reviews who say you need to see it, you need to see it. It does not do you justice to show you on the video. Let me try turning this down even more. But yes, it does not do it justice. It is gorgeous anyway uh let's see so this was the temper screen glass that i got uh called jumpy um didn't like it that much don't really recommend it the first one came off like super easy the second one has been staying on so far i hope it actually stays on because it's the only one that i have uh, I'll explain about that because the bleed, the Unicorn Beetle comes with a screen protector. It's just not good. And I thought, uh, maybe everybody was just edge rating. Uh, no, that wasn't. Not good. But anyway, here's a little flimsy case. I don't, exact, I don't think, even think it had a name, but I bought it off of Amazon for like five bucks. Uh, I did what it did as far as in protection. Actually kept the phone clean. At least, you know, it was just a... Uh, something else I wanted to try out besides that clear case, which was a good case too. I had the clear case more than I actually used this. I think I only used this probably today. So, yeah, and I've been having it for a uh, couple of days. Anyway, here's the Pride and Joy I just got in today. This is the Unicorn Beetle Pro. Um, everybody I've seen gave it a good review. I'm going to jump on that bandwagon. This thing is tough. I feel like I can, like, I feel like I've been 
like baby in my device ever since I got it, which I normally do, but it's like with this one, it's like I've been walking on pin needles because I've seen uh, other videos on how the screen breaks and it's really not that tough. Seems like it's kind of fragile. So, um, yeah, now I feel like I could do this. I mean, this case is so thick. It is so like tough. It's durable. Look how deep it goes as far as in protecting that camera. Then you have the little feet at the bottom that actually keeps the case from actually touching the flat surface. And if you look here, you got your lip that's raised up and you got the at the top and the bottom of the phone the lip that's at an angle that actually keeps the phone from hitting the ground so yeah guys i've been loving 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 this case and i only had it like 30 minutes now just got in the mail so yeah oh here's the holster been definitely looking for one of these haven't seen any case i think except for um um that it really expensive case i forget the name or the brand because i never bought one. Oh, the otter box i think they make one for one plus seven pro uh, i think i seen one and i know theirs come with a holster um people that's making these cases i mean some advice one make a holster i mean even if we don't use it make the holster there's a lot of people that work in a lot of industrial areas like places where you need to carry this on your hip i hate carrying my phone my phone in my pocket like this phone is big for one but i don't like carrying my phone in my pocket anyway because i carry my keys and stuff in there and they scratch the phone so yeah make a holster one <laughs> two take note from this design except for the glass part like this is my tempered glass but except for that plastic screen which i guess since there's no way to put tempered glass on there instead of plastic or maybe it is maybe it's just higher i would pay more if it had tempered glass if, if the the case came with tempered glass versus that plastic crap i mean i i thought it I thought I was like doubling down on my defense as far as in screen getting scratched. No, that was crap. So I removed it like everybody else did in their reviews. And I suggest y'all do the same. Um, yeah, other than that, I've been loving this device. I mean, I don't think I put so many apps on like one device let's see um see like i have 145 apps on here right now i don't think i've ever had 145 apps on one phone not even on my note 8 and i even start to like notice how sluggish my note is like of course it is compared to this phone but it was like a major notice like what was i doing before this i mean like this thing is quick quick i mean quick 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 animations are quick and then youtube comes up quick the only thing i could ever say that i kind of um that gets me about the phone, but I guess it's up to you. It's like it's features. I mean, you look at the Samsung Galaxy S10 and all these um, Mi Miu phones. I think that's what they call Mi Xiaomi 9 or something like that. I forget. They come with the where you can use your fingerprint for multiple profiles. I mean, they got all different types of add-ons as far as in some things we don't have on OnePlus because it's really simple. But I like it, and then again, it's some drawbacks in the feature um, department. Oh, I mean, don't get me wrong. I was one of those people who was crying about wireless charging. Speaking of features, um, after a week, you know what? 
I'm used to it. I have two wireless chargers. I've used them probably 10 times total. And I probably had them for like a year or two. So I don't use them really. But not having the feature, I think, is what hurts. It's not that you don't. It's not that you use it or don't use it. It just hurts not to have it in a premium smartphone. That's all. Um, but then again, it's like give and take. And uh, I think I got one more day on my warranty. I could have actually took this phone back if I wanted to go S10 or something like that. <laughs> and I've been looking at reviews because I was thinking about it because of the whole camera thing. But I downloaded the... oh. I also have the custom Google app for the camera instead of the stock camera because it works really, really well. Or maybe it does. I'm not sure. I'm not really a camera guy, so I just got it anyway. Uh, pictures look nice either way. They look nice before to me too, but I'm not that camera guy. I don't look at all the pictures and stuff. So, pop-up camera, player, definitely swag status. Um, like I say, quick fast responsive plenty of memory eight gigabytes of ram 256 memory on the inside i done downloaded like multiple seasons already of dbz thank you one plus because it's all on one device and i can move them off of my device whenever i get ready via my sd cards that i hook in um with an adapter or my external um my external di um my external drive and yeah you can use those too so memory should never be an option i mean issue with this phone i mean you got plenty of hub memory is what i call it where i just have all my files before i get to transfer them into certain places no you ain't gotta do all that right away man Anyway, this your boy AD here at Man Cave. Here at the Man Cave. Thank y'all for checking your boy out. Thank you for being a part of episode one. Hopefully, it's more. Who knows, man? Uh, I'm going to try to look at some other stuff. I'm try to get on here and talk more tech. Guys, one day, let's just see how this goes. Um... I got a couple of more products. I got no. I got one coming in, uh, a battery case for the OnePlus. I haven't seen those at all. I haven't seen any reviews. I'm hoping to jump on that and be one of the first people. Um, and just talk tech with you guys, and you know, chat about some stuff like uh, the Nintendo Switch. You know, I'm into that. Actually, into hacking quote-unquote into that also so i like all kind of new Nintendo switch talk um ps4 talk gaming in general tech in general life in general so this your boy ad signing off man cave we out